Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 52 of the unofficial, official, unofficial Rogue Company podcast broadcast. I'm here with Co Reed. I'm here with Dirt Lord. I'm here with Garbo. And I'm here with Griffin. And this is the Rogue Company podcast, bringing you all the news that you need to know about Rogue Company. And we're going to further a look. And we're going to start out first here real quick with the Virtual Horizons PTS notes, I think, or no, we'll just go with the actual regular notes. How about that? Because there was a couple of things I think that they were, they added in here, but we can talk about these in real time here. So ongoing server maintenance, the team has uh, dedicated time to reviewing a considerable, considerable amount of data in your reports for which we are grateful. As a result, we have pinpointed several issues, in particular a few that were specifically affecting our EU players. We have taken the necessary steps to address these issues, and we anticipate that you will experience an enhanced gaming experience. Although more work remains to be done, we are confident that we have made significant progress. So confidence and reality are two completely different things here. You know what I mean? Like they can mm -hmm. be confident that they've made, you know, some good decisions and some good changes here. But in reality, is this an actuality? You know what I mean? So, and it would be nice if they didn't only like have this affect their EU players. It would be nice if, I don't know, the entire player base could feel these changes and to, to be a fan of these changes. But here we are. So hopefully they'll continue to spread the their changes around or something. I don't know. So for balance changes for Rogue's glitch, had the executioner replaced with Salvo. Saint had the executioner replaced with the warrant. And Runway had the Simtex replaced with Smoke Grenade. Pistol changes really don't matter because Weapon Mastery exists, so yeah. it it's fine. Like It makes sense that Glitch is getting the Salvo back and that Saint is getting a different pistol since like most of the starter rogues either have access to the Spitfire or the Executioner. So makes sense that they're doing those changes. The change with Runway, the Simtex replacing, being replaced with a Smoke Grenade, that is something that like, First, I, I, I don't know. I like the change, but I don't. I would have rather them replace the trip mines. I agree. I think on the whole, absolutely. I mean, we see more trip like, mine, trip mine spam now. Yep, yeah, and it does slow down like the whole like her being a breacher and like pushing in so hard on you. But at the same time, that's what it's yeah revolted to that or came to that people now are just getting the trip mines. They don't even bother with smokes, and they're just leaving trip mines everywhere every round. Yeah. <clears throat> I, whenever I've been playing her, I've been using the smoke grenades, and like to me, if they're trying to minimize her breacher role, whenever you play with smokes, especially in demolition, to me it makes me play more aggressively. So you're more you likely to push, to through, push right? because you can cover something. Yeah. So they're 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 robbing Peter to pay Paul here. Like they're they're getting the same thing, the same result out of this change. And like my suggested change was like give her tear gas. If she's a sniper, give her tear gas or EMPs. I'm thinking EMP cuz she's a support, right? Supposedly, allegedly. But an EMP would great would be great for a support. Yeah, especially if you're going to be. We sniping. don't have. Well, we only have like three characters that carry them. Yeah, now we do. Yeah, yeah. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know. But it is, uh, it is a very interesting change, in my opinion. I don't think it's like the greatest change ever. I don't think it really hinders her that much as as a character, but. It just sucks. Like trip mines suck, and they did nerf the trip mines a little bit, but they still suck. Mm -hmm. I, you still hate running into them. You still hate dealing with them. Trip mines are the the gadget version of Lancer. You just don't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I understand why trip mines or claymores, whatever you want to call it, exists in the game. But Jesus Christ! Now you're gonna swap out a Simtex, which is obviously the most purchased thing on her and give her smokes that's fine but now we have to deal with this other crap so 
And smokes, smokes are not as beneficial. Like you've got so many hard reveals. They don't, they're not as good as they could mm-hmm. or once were, you know? Mm-hmm. At least with pop smokes, you can throw them down there instantaneous. Like there's no delay time on the actual release of the smoke. Yeah. That's one thing that I have noticed about the regular smoke grenades. If you throw it in a weird place, it'll tink around for like 20 seconds before it even detonates. Yeah, actually detonates. And then the pop smoke, like you can hit that thing against the wall and it'll still go off. It'll yeah. It's like the regular smoke grenades are an inferior version of the pop smoke. Why is the inferior version of that still in the game? It's like, why do we have the old High Castle map? The inferior version when we have a new better version of it. It makes no mm-hmm. sense. So we For, didn't keep two game modes. Yeah, right. You know, two of the same modes, but we didn't keep two strikeouts, you know. So why would we keep yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for the weapon changes, the HRM 30K got a buff. So the body shot damage was increased from 24 to 25, and the damage fall off at all ranges has been improved. You can tell that this weapon got a buff. And, I mean, here's the thing. This kind of goes back all the way back to uh, the TTK changes, the initial TTK changes. We're just going to up the damage of the weapons by like one or two damage so that it takes one less bullet to down someone. Well, I mean, you still have the accuracy. You still have the recoil control of all these weapons. And the same thing with the HRM 30K. Like, do I think it's going to go back to HRM 30K that once was where everybody was running it? No, but they could have increased the fire rate of the weapon as opposed to the body shot damage. And it would have increased the recoil of the weapon, which would have made it a little bit more difficult to use overall. So it's like, why are we making it easier for people? Like They could have made that change and I think it would have been sufficient. But what do I know? I'm not a game dev, right? <clears throat> it feels good though. Yes. I haven't played enough, but the couple of times I ran it, <clears throat> it's hard. Yeah. And with the headshot damage, you can three tap someone to, to down them with headshots. You can four tap them with body shots to down them. It's, it's a good mixture for the weapon. It feels like it's farting a little too much into the Hydra territory, but that's why I was like, well, if they increase the fire rate of it slightly, then it would still be in that mid area between the Hydra and the Sahara. But, you know, or at least somewhere around the ballpark of like the Mark IV, you know, a little bit more damaging, of course, but it's fine. It, it feels good to play with. I'm interested to see if this is going to stick because they gutted the HRM 30K. <coughs> A couple of updates ago, they lowered the fire rate, lowered the damage, mm-hmm. lowered everything. So I'm interested and it to made see. it so bad. It yeah. was unplayable. Yeah. And then now this one little damage tick up, man. Sheesh. Right. <laughs> so the D40C, they reduced the mag size from 50 down to 40. The legendary tier now increases the magazine size and removes the jump accuracy penalty, but it does not increase the damage range. So they didn't really do anything to it. Like, yeah, they lowered the magazine from 50 down to 40 and you don't get that. final, Yeah. That final range buff that you (laughs) had before, but it's still going to shred you regardless of what you have in, in your, in your hand. So it still rips. Yes. It's there's not enough recoil. The damage is too high. The fire rate's too high. Like they need to go in there and completely rebalance the D40. We went full circle, D40 meta back to D40 meta. And it's kind of I don't know, pathetic. Is that the right word to say? That we're going to stupid. Yeah. That we're going to rebalance all the SMGs, but yet we're going to go from D40 meta all the way back around to D40 meta. Like Jesus Christ, give me a break. The objection, the damage fall off at all ranges have been improved for the objection. And I ran the objection almost exclusively last night, that and the salvo. And you can tell that the, the range was increased on it, but like, did it really need to be? No, I mean, 
I don't think that they buffed it enough to put it in like meta territory again, but like it was fine where it was at. The the problem with the objection and some of these other niche weapons is the fact that like it's a different play style. If you're used to running D40 constantly, and you try to run the objection like the D40, then guess what? You're not going to do as well with that as you would the D40. You have to run the objection almost like a shotgun. Mm-hmm. But people don't seem to understand that, and there's no communication in the game whatsoever from the developer team that's like, hey, you may want to run this in more close quarters combat situations here, uh, almost akin to a shotgun, so that you can maximize the potential of the weapon. So, I don't know if them trying to buff it into relevancy is the right move, seeing as how that's the consistent thing that we've been doing the last couple of updates here. Same thing with the salvo. They increase the body shot damage from 18 to 20, which effectively makes it a two-round burst if the servers allow you to hit both of your shots to 40 body shot damage per burst. Did we really need a salvo buff? I mean... I, mean, I thought it was pretty nasty before. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> I never had real luck with it, though. I mean, there were times it was awesome, but not to the degree of usable. It had become one of my favorite ones outside of the warrant. I think the warrant's just still the, the warrant's best, still yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah. I still I still think it's the best, but it's this one's coming up real close to it now. Yeah. Well, the problem with the salvo is the same problem that the ibex and the mamba to a certain extent has. Bursts. The yeah, the downfall of the weapon isn't the damage or anything like that. It's the fact that like. If you shoot someone with the Mamba and you do the first bullet damage and the last bullet damage, where the hell does that middle bullet go? The same thing with the Salvo. I was playing with it last night. I was tracking someone. I was shooting them in the head, and it was only doing 18 damage, 18 damage, or whatever it was at the range that I was at. I wasn't getting the double damage. I was only getting the single damage. Whenever you can run the P-12 and four-tap someone to down them at mid to long mm -hmm. range, why would you run the salvo? It's simple balance here. Instead of trying to buff everything up to P-12 territory, why don't we take that weapon and drop it down a hair? That's the thing. No, let's just buff everything else to kind of meet it and fuck with the whole TTK. Exactly, right. They're going to get that TTK change one way or another. Well, I mean, it's already morphed so much now that like, <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if they yeah. went in there and really did a, a huge change, it's like, are based off of these changes here, are we going to expect more <clears throat> SMG buffs to bring all the other SMGs up to where the D 40s at? Because that's stupid. Cause the, it was not a, it was not a nerf at all. They did. It's still so now. Yeah, and it's arguably better now. I mean, I mean, I never really jump and shoot. Yeah, right. So that wasn't an issue for me. And ten, ten less bullets until I spend fifteen thousand dollars. Who gives a shit? Exactly, right. It's the range, and it's the range, the fall off percentages, and the damage of the weapon. That's why it's overperforming. Mm -hmm. So, but with the salvo, it's like. The only reason the Mamba is still somewhat relevant in conversation right now as being a very strong DMR is because it does 25 headshot damage per bullet. So if you land all three, you're doing 75. If you land two of them, you're still doing 50 damage, which is a huge amount of damage with a DMR at almost infinite range. So that's why the Mamba still remains relevant as opposed to the Ibex and the Salvo. So maybe they fix the server issues and people will run the burst weapons more. That's a possibility. I wonder how the UK is faring with the salvo since they got their server issues addressed. So uh, the so the warrant they did a little a little bit of changes here. I haven't ran the warrant, so I can't speak to these. But the jump accuracy penalty has been reduced. The accuracy loss per shot has been reduced. And the max firing accuracy loss has been reduced. And, like, if you can fire this thing so fast, like, is it a benefit? Or do you have enough time between shots to gain that 
you know, max firing accuracy loss. Like it's, it's kind of, it falls in the same line as like the devotion and things like that. Are you spamming the button to try to pump out as much damage as possible? Are mm. you timing your shots out? And I guess that I don't know when these proc and how these are beneficial to it. Cause like I said, I haven't run it, you know? So I think I might do that tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning. I'll just run it for a while and just see how it feels, but it's not going to beat. I mean, it's not going to beat the P12. It doesn't have enough range and it doesn't have enough damage. So like, what's the point? What is the point of running these other pistols when the set, the, the P12 fires faster, does more damage. It has a longer range. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense not to. Exactly. You're like handicapping yourself. If you're not every time. It. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then for the trip mine, so their justification to lower the base damage of the trip mine is the speed and toughness system, but they reduce the base damage from 120 down to 100, and they normalize the effective range, whatever that means. Um, I don't know what the hitbox for these things are as far as, like, the thing that is needed to trigger them. Because, I mean, if you start at the front face of it out to the end of the red lines, like, that's a pretty long area. So I don't know what normalizing the effective range of them are unless they buff the range of them at some time and didn't tell anybody about it, which is possible. You know, no. I, I wouldn't put no. anything past them at this point, but yeah, I will. but people are like, okay, runway has access to the trip mines blaster. She still has access to blaster. It doesn't do anything to benefit the trip mines. So people are like, Hey, can we have blaster on runway removed? And then there's a, a couple of conversations that I've seen where it's like, well, base trip mine or just trip mine in general doesn't do enough damage to down, but like five or six of the entire rogues gallery. Um, because of armor or HP buff or tenacity or whatever, which I'm like, okay. And that's a bad thing. How? Like if you're full down, if you're full health and you run into a trip mine, should it down you? And the answer to that uh. is, do you know that it's there? And can you get like, it makes sense why the Ronin dart does as much damage as it does because it has a giant red light on it and it's beeping and you can hear the beep, but you can't hear the trip mine. So you got to find that line of like what's acceptable and what's cheesy. And I think that like right now, unless they drop the damage down to where it doesn't down anyone, unless they've taken some damage, I think it's at an okay spot right now. I don't think it's in the best spot because I hate playing against them, but I think it's in an okay spot. So it's, it's fine. So some known issues here, cosmetic reward for completing seasonal contracts, still not visible. However, players will still receive this reward victorious vendetta banner and the HRM 30 K seasonal contract is currently registering off of hits instead of damage. Fix will be in the mid patch for that. Before we move on, what do you guys think about the skins and the, the cosmetics and things for the virtual horizon update here? And what are y'all thought y'all's thoughts in general for it? Um, I like the glider, the one that is kind of like an ocean type one. It's yeah, like the, one of the very first ones you get. Yeah. 10,000 leagues under the sea. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Um, I think that's probably one of the coolest glides we got right this second. I'm okay with a sushi Mac. And I'm okay with the Dima, even though we don't need another Dima skin, but we got another one. I think they could have made that like a chalk skin and gotten away with it, but, you know, they didn't. And uh, Switchblade skin, I mean, it's just a recolor, man. The, the, the Mohawk is literally, like, from the Cyberpunk one. Like, they just redid color again. So I'm not really impressed with it. But that's about it. Yeah, I mean... We, we've got so many cool Dima skins already in the game. Mm -hmm. like, and like the Ch and Chalk also wears a mask too. So like it would just only make sense that they were going to go with that route. They could have done that. I don't think there's this many Chalk skins compared to uh, Dima skins. So yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think that there is either. And the chalk skins that we do have, most of them are either recolors or they're just bad. Like the scuba diver yeah. chalk skin is just bad. It just looks so bad. Hmm. So I would have liked to have seen that on chalk. I think it would have been great and it would have been better than the Transformers, you know, level 50 battle pass reward that we got back in the day. Like, and I mm -hmm. like that skin a lot. So, you know. Here, here's my biggest problem with the update overall. During the last couple of live streams, which we haven't had one for a while, and I have no idea why there hasn't been like a developer, you know, creator showcase live stream thing. I, I have a generally good idea why that hasn't happened, but I haven't had any official confirmation as to why that hasn't happened. But we were told that like the next update that comes out was going to be a lighter update and going to focus more on matchmaking and server stability and all this kind of stuff. Where is all that? Mm -hmm. They didn't a, do the update show this time? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Virtual Horizons update could have been better, should have been better. We were told it was going to be better and it was going to bring new new things into the game as far as like quality of life and, and issues, but none of that has happened except for our UK brethren that are playing the game. So, I don't know. Based off of that alone, I give it a 2 out of 10. Damn. I mean, I mean, we got an HRM buff, which they never should have completely gutted to begin with. None of the SMGs have been adjusted whatsoever. They're buffing all the pistols to try to make them competitive with the P12. We've got a mediocre event pass, and they did some minor server maintenance for the UK players. They haven't addressed matchmaking. They haven't addressed the server status for the rest of the game. And they haven't officially done anything quality of life related in this update when they told us, hey, we're going to focus on all these quality of life things, two out of ten. All day. Buffing <clears> shit, <throat> there's a never-ending cycle, though. It's like, well, now we got to buff this because that's better. And then it just keeps going. Snowball. Well, this is what I'm going to say about, like, buffing things. Well, like the Salvo, for example. Whenever you have niche weapons in the game that people don't, like, Don't organic yeah people don't organically gra gravitate to them it doesn't mean that they're bad it yeah. just doesn't mean that that's what people you, you know what i'm saying like people don't gravitate towards it doesn't mean that it's unbalanced it doesn't mean that it's bad it doesn't mean that it doesn't feel good it's like the aaron the aaron yeah. is perfectly fine right now but the play rate on the aaron is like at an all-time low why because yeah. it has a first person scope on it right so the only way to make the Aaron good or more accessible for players is to remove the scope off of it, which takes the identity of that weapon away. But then there would they would have to go in there and nerf it, right? Because the play rate's so low, the hip fire on it's so good that people don't realize how good that weapon is. Same thing with the bishop. The bishop's doing 30 headshot damage at, at extended ranges, and you can fire it faster than you can fire the Sahara and the Knight. That weapon is busted, but the play rate on it is so low that even mentioning something about it, because I have in the past, hey, the 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 bishop is kind of broken right now. Well, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, 30 headshot damage, and you can fire it faster than some of the assault rifles. It's kind of busted. Well, the play rate says, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck what your play rate says. Yeah. You have to balance the weapons based off of that weapon versus every other fucking weapon since you open weapon mastery up. Balance the shit in the first place. Let people gravitate to the things that they enjoy playing. That's their problem. They see one low line something in the game, and they're like, we got to do something to attract more players to use this weapon. Uh, Let's buff it. Like, why in the past are you going to buff the objection into a meta weapon and release a mythic skin for it at the same time? Mm -hmm. why, why would you do that? So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty stupid. I mean, and we've, we've experienced it not only in Rogue Company, but in games in, in almost every single game where it's like, this thing is obviously broken and has been obviously broken 
for a very long time. And people are starting to see, oh, this thing is super broken right now. I'm going to start using it. And then more people start using it more. Like, thank God the rogue community and the rogue player base isn't as large as something like COD. Where, where something, someone makes one video and it just catches the entire scene on fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, could, how long did it take for LMPX meta to actually fully take hold? When we ran the LMPX since the game dropped and recognized how good that weapon was. Mm-hmm. So. They won. Exactly. So. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it's a it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing that you don't have people. Oh, these are the crazy meta weapons, and when you do, you'll have those videos go up, and they'll net 500 to 2,500 views, something like that. But it's not the entire player base that's watching it. Thank God. So, but speaking of weapons, I'd have another little tidbit here. This was a Reddit post by Jared over on reddit nine days ago weapon mastery and ranked poll hello rogue reddit in a previous stream we often spoke about weapon mastery and its impact on balance i've seen many a post tweet and comments centered around its removal from the game but i would like to focus this post to be a discussion around uh -huh. ranked weapon mastery and where we should go from here in our eyes, we see ranked to be an experience where the players work around a tight and consistent rule set with known variables. For example, they understand what they and their enemy have access to and the decision strategies around it. Weapon Mastery is a system that currently runs counter to that and that it allows rogues to either push their strengths further or shore up their weaknesses. To that end, we are leaning towards disabling Weapon Mastery in the ranked rule set. However, I'd like to create an open forum here to discuss that to discuss that here with the players who play ranked and value that experience. If you don't want your uh if you don't want to voice your opinion but still want to contribute, feel free to pick one of the two choices. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and opinions. So the voting closed six days ago, but 158 people voted for disable it, 153 voted to keep it, out of a total of 311 votes. 83 comments on it. I mean, obviously, the first point that we have to point out here is like, why did they do this only on Reddit and they didn't tweet about it or... <coughs> bring any attention to this whatsoever maybe an end game survey yeah or remember those yeah i mean that's first and foremost so you appealed to 311 people so by this statistic alone out of 66.1 thousand people that's part of this rogue company reddit page there's only actively across the entire globe 311 people that currently play ranked that's not right, right? No. I mean, it's got to be more than that. So why are you handcuffing and possibly making like in-game decisions that are very beneficial or very detrimental depending on that type of player without, I don't know, addressing it to the larger herd? You know, doesn't make sense. Um, and then secondly... I feel like ranked has more issues than just weapon mastery right now. Like the matchmaking sucks. The way that you have to go into ranked as a whole sucks. Artificially inflating your rank whenever you party up with people sucks. The fact that um, you have to queue at specific times in your time zone to have a somewhat balanced match sucks. Like, the whole rank system sucks. And yeah, if they took Weapon Mastery out, then that would be at least one one shining diamond in the shit pile of ranked. But still, there's a lot of other issues that are plaguing ranked right now. Why are we looking at Weapon Mastery right now? Like, just make a queuable mode like Quick Play that doesn't have Weapon Mastery on it and see how many people queue into that game mode. Wouldn't that be a better gauge of like how popular something like that would be? I'm just, I'm just thinking outside the box here. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they put a multi queue in there that was demolition strikeout and it was random, whatever you played, 
but weapon mastery was turned off, I would play that Q. Even on the off chance that we got strike out. So. But I mean, I voted to disable it because like weapon mastery unbalances the game in such a huge way. For sure. Um, and like the D40 wouldn't be an issue right now if only two or three rogues had access to it. But guess what? Breach. Everybody almost has access to SMGs. So. Access to both. Yeah. So, I mean, this is. I don't know. Weapon Mastery would fix a lot of things. They could let a lot more things slide in the terms of the balancing department if rogues only had access to certain weapons. That's why, like, me and a lot of other people, like, broadcast especially, is hammering, like, you've got to balance this. If you are going to keep Weapon Mastery, it has to be competitive against every single thing in the game, but not outshine and outperform it. That is just the way that it's got to be. And then once you balance everything, then maybe we can look at introducing, I don't know, newer weapons into the game. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of comments and stuff on here. Uh, hard decision, 50-50, gonna go play ranked. Okay, after playing some ranked, I can confidently say that I want weapon mastery in the game. Keep it. I feel the main argument of the people who want weapon mastery to stay in ranked is I don't want to have to choose my rogue based on the primary weapon they have access to. In other words, the problem here is the existence of some weapons being just overwhelmingly better than others. But this issue has nothing to do with weapon mastery. It is a weapon, well, weapon balance. Weapon mastery would fix that. Yeah, exa that's what Scuzzy is saying. Get rid of it. Yeah. But this is not has nothing to do with weapon mastery. It is a weapon balancing issue. And therefore, this argument is, for me, out of subject. I'm open to debate and discussion about it. And then Sylvine Kiwi, you will never have all weapons actually balanced except by making them all identical. And for me, it's precisely the reason weapon mastery should be removed. Let's have some good and bad weapons and use them to balance rogues and give them an identity. And then Zany said, but I'm not going to play a rogue if they have shitty weapons. This person, this person said, that's the point. And then Zany said, I don't get the point. Weapon mastery is the equalizer. Like they said, all weapons cannot be perfectly balanced unless they're identical. Everyone having the potential to access other guns gives you a piece of that identicality. Not allowing that means rogues will be more different, meaning there will be more of a defined meta. Okay, how? Well, they would have an identity then. Yeah. I don't get they how. Used to. Yeah. I don't get how people who don't. I don't get how people don't understand when you get rid of weapon mastery, you still get a meta. Only it will be which character is the meta instead of which weapon. What you hate will become the character, not the weapon. Right now, you can hate a weapon, but everyone having access to weapon mastery makes it fair. If you get rid of weapon mastery and you hate a character, there is no system in place to make it more fair unless Roko completely balances the game 100%, which can't happen. I don't agree with that mm, whatsoever. You get four bands. Yeah, exactly. And the picks, I mean. But here's the thing, though, man. When you have rogues that have access to these incredible alts yeah their weapons should off and their utility should offset that like there's four four or five different things that they can balance around weapons gadgets abilities passive abilities and perk set right you have five things that you can balance so maybe they have great abilities maybe they have great perks but maybe their weapons are leaving more to be desired but it doesn't mean you can't down someone with those weapons. You just have to play it differently. That, that's where I disagree with a lot of these comments that are in this comment section. Because like we know that you don't have to make the weapons identical to balance the weapons out. Because there's way too many factors that influence how the weapons perform in the game to make carbon copies of them. You have range, you have fall-off percentages, you have headshot damage multipliers, you have body shot damage multipliers. You have all these things that you have to take into consideration. And the reality is, if you're playing with a DMR and you're shooting someone at 30 meters, well, 
right now 30 meters is smg territory apparently so if you're shooting someone at 50 meters and they have the spitfire you should win that engagement because they don't have the right weapon to engage you that is user error that is on the user for making that engagement happen that is how you balance these things but if they're able to maneuver up on this person in this close quarters combat scenario, then the Spitfire should have more than enough advantage to win the gunfight versus the DMR. That's just simple game design. So, yeah. I I'm okay with them removing it. I'm okay with them removing it in the entire game. I've been bitching about it since they added it. Exactly. Like, it, it took away a lot of the, like, decisions you had to make. Like you, yeah. you, you had to be like, well, we need someone with an SMG. We need someone with a DMR. Yeah. And, and back to what this person is saying here, it's like, okay, so you would learn to hate the character and not the weapon, right? So let's take the D40, for example. Right now, base, right out of the gate, you have two rogues that I know of that have access to it. Sigrid and Chalk, Right. Yep. Okay, so you have two people that the enemy team potentially has that has access to these two problematic weapons, not four people on that enemy team. And they may not pick both of them. So, and you may ban one of them, or your team may pick one of them. So you may not have to go up against this problem weapon. So that's yeah. where alt and it logic. Helps. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to go It'd be helpful in choosing your bans. Yeah. This has been full teams. Yeah. Just mowing. Just Garbo. Yep. In the tournament, yes. how many D40s um, did you come across? That's uh, what we're all playing. I mean, 90% of the people that played it that had access yeah. to submachine guns ran the D40. Yeah, we all had it. Yeah, everybody that had that. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. But if only two of those rogues have access to it, Chalk is a great pick. Chalk is a power pick. And Chalk is someone yeah. in the right hands can easily just burn an entire team down, regardless of what mm -hmm. weapon that he has. Because mm -hmm. of his ability, his gadgets, and his perks. It doesn't even have anything to do with the weapon. I think that would make rank fun, man. I think it would, too. Like, really? Yeah. But I would like to see them disable it. And like for real, they should just put a queue in the game where it's like weapon mastery disable queue. It should just be demolition and strike out public matches and just let people queue into it and yeah. see. Because a lot of these people that are like, oh, well, weapon mastery, like th this is the most common response that I got on the video that I made about this. If you remove weapon mastery, then people won't have anything to <sighs> grind for anymore because they won't have access to that skin. Yeah, they will. It's two different systems. Yeah. Do they even play ranked? Probably not. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably not. And the not. reason why they don't is because a whole team of D40s. Yeah. Scorch wouldn't be as powerful as she is right now. No. She only had the SLC. You know what I mean? And the Arbitrator. You know what yeah. I fucking say. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Uh, go ahead for yeah. the senate I think that weapon mastery being removed will be a step it would be an adjacent step in the right direction it's yep. like you know whenever you're with that balancing too man yeah I mean the it reason would... the gun feels so unbalanced because there's four motherfuckers with it yeah if it that... was just one or two people yeah that's the thing be that bad you know it could easily yeah. be balanced in Seagrid's hands but once you give it to fucking Lancer then it's ridiculous yeah or you give it to, to Scorch or Mac. Yeah. You know what oh. I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. I think that we would see more. A lot of people are like, well, if we do that, we'll see more shotguns coming back. And it's like, is that necessarily a, a bad thing? Like, so be it. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. I mean, I think Better it would make it. Shot. Yeah, I think it would make it fun. Because yeah, then you I just got to. Once you get hit with the shotgun, you're like, oh, that guy's running yep. a shotgun, so you, you know how to play around that. it. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the community section of the unofficial, official, unofficial Rogue Company podcast. If you want to contribute in any way, you can hit us up on Twitter at Broadcast. You can shoot us an email, broadcast at gmail.com, 
or you can join the Discord. The link to the server will be in the description down below. There is a broadcast contribution section over there. But we're going to hit it off first here by Ollie Gamer. Frequent channel visitor here. It's officially been over one year since the last Rogue. Damn. And they put a screenshot up from 525-2022. Introducing the super genius inventor programmer technologist, Juke. Our newest rogue hits the battlefield with some cutting edge tech and our next update show, May the 27th. Watch out for those stairs. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's been a year, man, since we've had a new rogue released into the game, which is legitimately insane. That's a long time, dude. Yeah. It, it's Has it ever gone that long? No, absolutely no, not. No. no, right? I think the longest gap we had to wake was between, what, Glimpse and Juke, which was like well, six months. Dude, the new one better be good. Yeah, I know, better right? Better be good. And if she oh, comes man. out and is like super buggy broken? and they have to disable her, yeah, could you imagine the outrage? Oh, it's going to be broken. Oh, yeah, for sure, right? I can't wait. And here's the thing. When they release the new character, if they release the new character before the rank season resets, that would be the best thing they could do. Because if not, they're going to have to disable her for ranked. And the reason why is because if she's absolutely broken, then ranked is going to be even worse than it is already. So their best bet would be to release her prior to the rank reset but we'll so see will you be able to weapon mastery her guns yes no they got to get rid of that then no it's crazy right no that you can't have lancer running around with those dude yeah no the objection metal the footage oh yeah and the shooting range have y'all did y'all try the guns and the shooting range they're nasty the dual boy nasty dude yeah it's and bad. you you almost get more damage if you hip fire. It was something that was slower. Yeah, whenever you ADS, the the fire rate lowers significantly. But the headshot with it was just dead, dead, yeah. dead. Like just yeah, they got to do it for ranked man. It's yeah because like if they put those. But here's the thing though, like you picked Lancer in the shooting range and you weren't able to roll reload with them. So I don't oh. know if they're like some weird fed, like box fed submachine guns or some shit that she don't have access to. Well, but that's the thing. It's got a drum on the bottom of it, but the reload animation had a clip being loaded into it. So that's, uh -huh. that's not final. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. It's, it's really weird. So how'd you get them on Lancer? I was only able to get them with Ronin. Was it Ronin? Uh, Yeah. I got him with Lancer and Chalk. What? Yeah. And Chalk with Replenish with those things? Dude. 60 bullets? Yeah. Forget about it. Whole team's dead. And it's it's a hip fire weapon. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, like the it's like the old objection coming back. You have to be up close, but like you'll down them bef before they realize they're being shot. Yeah. It's like playing against a D forty right now at any range. So, you know. How it feels. So next up, definitely not my fifth account posted here. Ranked rewards lag and the leaderboard combined with the matchmaking have nearly ruined ranked. Title. I swear this season has to be the worst season when it comes to lag, bad mismatches, and lobby farming out of every season ever. It takes at least three Q searches to find a match that doesn't end before it even begins because people are just lobby farming their asses off and immediately all F4 as soon as something doesn't go their way. Teammate didn't ban who they wanted. They didn't get the character they wanted. Bad teammates or teammates on Nintendo Switch, etc., etc. It's literally ridiculous. Now, instead of waiting four minutes for a match, you're waiting a minimum of 10 just because you have to search over and over. I know everyone wants their ranked rewards, but come on, man, give me a break. If they actually fix the matchmaking in this game and the dog shit servers, this problem would be damn near eliminated. Just had to vent and put this out there because this shit is annoying. The tale is old as time. Servers and matchmaking. Yep. Dude. I'm over here struggling to finish that battle pass. Yeah. Because I'm limited. And then how many games do you get where you just go back to the lobby? 
I know, right? And it's like, what just happened? We were winning the game. I was. Yeah. And it's usually when you're up on them. It's like, what? Yep. What just and happened? That's what three Jed was talking about earlier. Like, it's got, the worst. It's bad now. It's bad. Yeah. It said that, that didn't happen before. No. Said that he got placed in silver five, lost two games, and then or won one game. But oh, lost it happened two. on rank two. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Oh. That was, that was happening to us in ranked. We would get to the last round and network disconnect. No progress. Ah. No nothing. Then you do you look no, no yeah, RP. No no XP, no RP. No nothing. What the Didn't fuck happen. is the point? Like and this this is what we were talking about earlier. A if thirty you, minute game. Yes. If you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna gain twenty five to twenty six points for winning and you're gonna lose like six points, then you can afford to lose a couple of games and still progress through the ranks. But that means you actually have to fucking win the games that you're in, which means the servers have to stay fucking connected long enough to get the RP from them. Mm-hmm. Who the they fuck fix that? Yeah. Who wants to? It's a real pain in the ass to play for thirty fucking minutes. For sweat 30 your minutes. ass off. Be up five to three and then <sighs> disconnect. Yeah, and then it's like, oh well. Yeah, that was cool. And even if it doesn't server like network disconnect from that point forward, the game runs like dog like shit. To dog the, shit. Dude. Yeah, you, you the, get the skippies when you're coming out of the plane. You got people. You're getting up ten feet back from where you were at yeah. shooting at someone. You get shot around. You get downed for no reason. You're yeah. like lag. Oh, I'm down. Yeah, you yeah. deem a blast and it shoots the wall in front of you. Even though <laughs> it you're, shoots you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, I burned myself up with a switchblade. Don't like that. Yeah. It's like, what's the fucking point, man? Like, what's the point? And that's new. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. That's since Jared took over. Yes. But that's a thing. Like, Jared, you got to get on it, man. I mean. Yeah. Come on. It's bad. The dude screaming Scott, but just do it again. Jared! Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty sad in reality that, like, you add the ranked rewards, you add the leaderboards, you add all these things that people want to grind to, but nobody can get there unless you four stack with absolute fucking demons. Yeah. You can't get there because and you the matchmate. Yeah, you know. right. And that's the thing that I think is funny. You've got a lot of people that's like, I'm on the leaderboard and I've already made it mm-hmm. to rogue rank. And it's like, cool. Well, who did you play with? Did you play with like three pro players or Dreamers. could be pro players? Yeah, exactly. People that play literally all day long because that's not impressive. You getting your ranked rewards because you were being carried the entire time is not yeah. impressive whatsoever. Not at all. Don't impress me much. No. Dude, I would say at least 20 games. Mm-hmm. At least. If not more. I will say this. I'd that say happens. more. With the consistent problems and things that are going on, it feels like it never came out of beta. Oh, no, not at all. Never should have. Like, we're still in beta. They never should have done that. Well, they had the date. Yeah. But it had, it was just, they forced it. Yeah. Man, I've seen a lot of of developers push back dates to make a better game. Yeah. It's a chism. No. It's bad, man. And that's the thing. Like they had a two year develop like beta development lifespan where they were gonna <laughs> yeah. they're gonna add all these cool and interesting things and out of that we've got well, a terrible TTK system. We got fucking weapon mastery. We got a fucking new rogue every single month to the point now people are bitching yeah, that we, we don't have people didn't ask for. Yeah. I mean Dude, the whole thing too there was like, well, once it comes out of beta, we'll have all this money for promotion and to push it. You did one turn, man. Yeah, exactly. One. We have a We're whole one. new development team since it came out of beta. It's not the same team. I think we've gone through two development teams since it came Damn. out of beta. Yeah. It's yeah. just not the same team. Yeah. So it's it's the the game is never gonna gain legs and get moving if people are logging into the game and experiencing all mm-hmm. these issues and then they're spending what it, like dude. They shut the mobile game down after yeah, dumping done. God knows how much fucking money into it. And time. They took our developers away for like a month. They did. Yeah. I saw a post on the, they had a Twitter post a few days ago, and there were people like, what's up with the mobile version? It's like, <laughs> yeah. You it's ain't heard? Dead. Dude, I'm always trying to like tell people about this game. 
the guy that came yeah. out and hooked my internet up, I was like, yeah, game. he saw my computer. I was like, he's like, you game? I was like, yeah. He was like, what do you play? I was talking. I was like, I play Rogue Company. He was like, oh, yeah, I tried that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I I knew, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like everybody you try, it's like, yeah, I tried. And it was like, okay, I get it. Yeah. I've had a few people at work tell me that. Like, we have new dudes come in and be like, you like playing video games? What kind do you play? And I'm like, Rogue Company, man. They're like, I never heard of yeah. that game, or I tried it, and it's not for me. Yep. They said, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. And I get that. When we get on there I and play and get that new team, I'm, I get it. Yeah. When you Dude, get mopped. I just went to the Rogue Company Elite Discord page. And there, thing. there's three channels that you can access. Polls, Damn. which hasn't had anything polled since 820 of 2022. Shit. Suggestions, which has not had anything contributed to it since 320 of 2023. And Suggestions, that has zero in it since July the 6th, mm. 2022. Mm. So they, that game doesn't, you can't play that game? That's not oh, a thing? No. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> no. Damn. Not at they, all. Dude, they shit on that? That mobile market's huge. Yep. Like That's the thing. It's bigger huge. than a console market. Yeah. Everybody and, got a cell phone. Oh, man. People in tribes in Africa got a cell phone. Yeah. So that's, they dumped probably 50 grand uh, in I would how say much time? 100 grand, dude. Like, yeah. Once you iron out like the employees that, that worked on it and everything, it might be yeah. closer to 200. Well, the people leaving makes sense. Oh, yeah. It makes mm-hmm. sense now. Yeah. So, but how long do we have? has lost employees like crazy. I saw a screenshot the other day on Twitter where a guy posted, I think it was the Steam charts. Yeah. And there was like less than 200 people playing Rogue. And I was like, mm. ooh. And see, I saw that too, Ugh. but every you time. Saw it? I, yeah, but every time I go on there and look, there's at least a minimum Same. of 800 people to a For thousand. Sure. Always around a thousand. It. Yeah. So I don't. Like I don't know deep, if it was real or not. It could have been, you know. Yeah. But I was like, like oh. And then let's look holiday? at divine knockout steam charts here. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to take a trip down this. So Is that's still working. Eleven minutes ago, there was seventy-eight people that was playing the game, and the twenty-four Ooh. hour peak was one hundred and three. I think that's what they used. Yeah. Probably that. Yeah. That makes sense. So, I mean, you you release a dead game, a game that's dead on arrival, <laughs> and then you've got three games. Smite's been around for over 10 years now. Smite's okay. It, you've got Paladins that still... Paladins yeah. received a huge uptick whenever Overwatch mm. canceled their PvE stuff with the different talents and abilities and stuff for the characters. They they got a huge resurgence. And like whenever you and that's the thing about like veiled experts and some of these other games, they're not trending well at right now at all. No. Mm-hmm. Like it is they ain't looking good. I mean, all these people that were hyped about it and was like, I'm yeah. a veiled expert partner. I can't wait to play and stream the game. Yeah. They've streamed it like maybe once or twice, but they're playing rogue. Yep. So so next up here we have a post by Thim. Them Bonnie two nine seven. This game is good, but can be better if devs add bots, AI players, reduce matchmaking time, listen to player recommendations, more game modes, drones, player companions, and new ranking system. So, like this is the feedback that determined that the SMGs needed to be adjusted. That's the only reason why I'm bringing this up. We don't need to add bots or AI into the game. That does not need to. Ha- We've tried that, and it was miserable experience for everybody listen to player recommendations well this is a recommendation where i would say that all of these points do not make uh, any type of like sense to incorporate them into the game we don't need more game modes they need to expand quick play to more game modes that they've already developed they've developed over 25 game modes for the game but people don't know that that are just coming into it so they need to expand that out drones or player companions why the game already runs bad enough as it is when you have more than one vi play in the match so why Mm. do you want to put drones or player companions in there new ranking system they need to fix the ranking system that they have 
they they screwed the ranking system up by resetting the MMR. They need to just let it go. All right, next up is another post by definitely not my fifth account. Account. Mm-hmm. Hello, friends. At devs, is it possible to add an extra page of challenges to the weekly since you don't get rogue bucks from them anymore? Like, have 10 challenges instead of five. Please, since there's no rogue bucks for it, can we just have some more challenges to do? Kind of how the seasonals have multiple pages of challenges. I would appreciate the extra rogue reputation credits for doing the challenges. And honestly, unlike a lot of people, I like that they make me step outside of my comfort zone and try different play styles or game modes. Makes the game interesting for me. Gives me a reason to play pubs. The challenges are fun. I think you guys come up with some good challenges since you last since you last updated them. Some of my favorites are uh, to do are the get X damage with melee, get X damage with X rogue ability, and get X damage with uh, DOTs. A second page of challenges for hardcore players like me would be awesome. It could be unlocked after completing the first set of weekly challenges. That would be rad. Didn't they like make it to where you could recomplete the weekly challenges and still gain like RP or not RP, but um, reputation from them? Like, remember when people were complaining about that? I did them three times and it's like, oh, did you get the XP and the reputation off of it? Well, yeah. And it's like, well, then what are we doing here? Yeah. So, what are you bitching about? Exactly. Dude, it should just keep going as long as you're willing to grind. Yeah. That's they're what, auto generated. Yeah. Some of them don't even make sense. No, they don't. You accidentally get those, you know? Yeah. Tally said, I don't do challenges intentionally. I only get them if I just happen to play a certain way. So I personally don't really care for the challenges. Maybe I would if there were more incentives outside of reputation. And that's me. Like, I don't care anything. Like, you do get XP and stuff off of them. Like, there's a decent little well, spike, but. Every now and then you'll do the one and it's like, oh, 2,000. Yeah, right. I didn't even know. Yeah. If I complete nice a challenge, it's just by random. Yeah, right. I really don't care about them. I don't. I don't feel like it gives me enough of a reward in game to worry about them. Yeah, I mean the reputation meant something whenever new rogues were consistently coming out, and you had to spend that reputation. Now they kind of have a, a purpose whenever you're unlocking the box or because, levels. Yeah, yeah. So when you get to the end. Yeah, so you can you know boost your uh, battle pass by using the reputation for sure. But like, I don't know. There's not enough stuff to spend reputation on to justify doing more. No. Nah. That's what the only game that I grind challenges on is Apex, and it's because the more challenges you complete, the faster you complete your battle path. Right. That well, makes it me does want that with do this them. one because the faster, you, if you do challenges, you get your level goes up higher. Yeah, yeah. the one. That's why well, I do them. The ones that have the XP associated with it's just a daily. Them. Yeah. I'll roll those to try to... And sometimes it's like, fuck, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm not doing <laughs> melee damage. Yeah. You Do 10,000 melee damage. Here no. Probably five battle passes. <laughs> so next up here, we have a post by definitely not my fifth account again. Coming in hot this week with multiple posts here. Literally just found a secret in-game menu on accident. So as you can see here, these are different queues. Domination 5v5, Domination 8v8, Fost, Customs, Fragment Wars, Mobile, Old, Quick Play 2, Quick Play 3, Quick Play 4, 5, and 6, Quick Play, High Castle Omega, Team Deathmatch, High Castle Omega, Multi-mode, mobile, tutorial. And I thought that this was interesting. I don't know if this is stuff that like accidentally got put into the game or if it was accidentally not taken out of the game. I Ooh, think auto-moderator comment. Like, oh. Yeah, needs to have visual evidence I of mean, the bug. There you go. Yeah, right. That's their menu. It's like, okay, so if 8v8 domination first of all i don't think rogue company could handle 8v8 i think there would be too much shit going on the maps are definitely not big enough for something like that 
but like five v five domination would be interesting because I mean, if it functions the same way that domination and COD functions, where you have three flags, you're trying to gain points over time. It's kind of like King of the Hill, but more organized. You know what I mean? Um, that would be interesting because you could have two hold, two push, and one flex. So that would be an interesting game mode. And then Fragment Wars, whatever that means, like that sounds interesting. Sounds like you're hacking something. Fragment Wars sounds like all explosives. Yeah. I think that's the name of the next Transformers movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fragment Wars? <laughs> Sam Witwicky. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Autobots. Yeah. Or Fernbird. But it's crazy how they have so many different quick play cues here. They've got six of them. And then they still have the High Castle Omega stuff in there, apparently. Cut that shit back on for a little while. I enjoyed that. Yeah, so let's, let's do barely it. barely see that map now. Yeah, I mean. Dude, you get old High Castle more than you get new. Yeah, and old High Castle's for the birds. Close. Yeah. Out it, to lunch. It's out to lunch for sure. Last up here, we received, or at least I received a message here on Reddit from Kang, Kian Kang, Rogue Company Perk Changes. So this is an incomplete list, but I was going to run this by you. Uh, so for Anvil, for the perks, replace rare shredder rounds with rare energized and replace epic energized with epic stalker. I don't think that that would be a bad, oh, bad idea. Shield? Uh, well, he would, they would be dropping energized. Down. It doesn't make sense why he has energized to begin with, since he has two shields. Mm. But he would be getting a higher level of. He would be getting a higher He's, level of stalker, but no shredder oh, rounds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, for cannon, replace epic evade with epic gadgeteer. I don't know about that one. That, For that's, why? I mean, just to, I don't know, just to spice them up, maybe. Oh. Uh, for Chalk, so his ability increase the overall the overheal from seventy five to ninety, and no. reduce the cooldown from sixty five to We're not fifty seconds. Abilities. That's that's almost too much. Ninety. Yeah. But on on his passive ability, reduce the down health from fifty down to twenty five. But oh, for amazing. for his perks, replace rare gadgeteer with rare stalker, and replace epic stalker with epic bulletproof. Chalk Ooh. already has the overhill. He has Ooh. life drain, and he has uh, a D forty, no. D forty, and uh, replenish. That would make Chalk so. God damn! That would be that would be almost too much. Uh, for ah. dog, yeah. So for Dahlia, um, let's see, an ally can be revived by activating danger close within 45 meters instead of 30. I'm okay with that. They, yeah. It does feel like it needs a range buff. It needs a range. Dude, these maps are big, man. Yeah. Uh, what about when you go, you know, when you mark somebody, they go to the other side and someone, I always try to like, who's going to go? You're going to go with the Dahlia? She marked you. But yeah. sometimes it's not the case. Yeah, yeah. And said... Replace the grenade with the APS. I like that she has a lethal, especially yeah. since she's the only su actual support character with a lethal grenade yeah. now. Yeah. So, yep. Dude, I think she should be able to revive you. Look, she can roll reload from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Why can't she revive you? I, I think, yeah, because it's only one person. Yeah. I think the revive should stand. Yeah. Shouldn't matter how far away you are. Right. Or at least extend the range. At least. Yeah. 30 meters is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Buff it to 50. 50. At the least. Come on. Yeah. The, these were the perk changes that were suggested. Replace rare crack shot with rare bounce, bounce back. Replace epic energized with epic helping hands. And replace legendary bounce back with legendary energized. Now, I would be okay with this energized being bumped up to legendary yeah. and bounce back getting dropped or a uh, crack shot, whatever it is, or bounce back. But if the thing with Dahlia that sucks is like, why can't I relink to someone once my link target dies? Oh, yes. That's a, oh, yeah. Come on with it. 
Like Saint can heal but anybody. You, you anybody. keep the you keep the original passive from your original link. Yeah. Oh. It only allows you to relink the revive. Yeah. And they gotta be like you have to be able to you know see them like oop. Yeah, you can't over here the, to somebody on A when you're on B. Yeah. I like that. I mean, and also like why can't it be a two way? revive like if dahlia goes down why can't the link person revive dahlia like there's a couple of Mm. things that they could do to her to make her a little bit better than she currently is we only really have two so yeah i mean a lot of people could say that that's overpowered but i think you could find a way to mitigate it say like if you allow if you allow the two-way revive if dahlia's down and they decide to activate the revive it also puts their their um uh, ultimate on cooldown. Oh, yeah, that would be yeah, that wouldn't there be you too go. Like, yeah, like they use they it in place it. of the ultimate, yeah. and if they've already used their ultimate, then they can't use the revive. There you go. Yeah. That would balance it out pretty well. I actually, you're a game dev. Yeah, better than some of the others, for sure. I mean, <laughs> love it's, a paycheck. Yeah, yeah right. that's a free one right there. Yeah, yeah, take it, dude. Yeah. Do it. So for Dallas, replace rare armor with rare volatile, replace epic bounce back with epic gadgeteer, and replace legendary crack shot to legendary bounce back. Why volatile? Because he has the incendiaries. Okay. I mean, I Dallas guess. is one of the few people that has access to bounce back and armor both. So like yeah. if, if they drop armor off, then it's not really hurting him as much as like no. Anvil or somebody like that. You know what I mean? There's so, a low play rate yeah. on Dallas, though. Yeah. Um, Which so is strange the, to me because he does have the incendiaries, and I think oh, they're he one of the most, most versatile gadgets to you. you can burn someone off the other side of a wall. Yeah. Or you can shut a lane down with it completely. Completely. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, ha- him having volatile would be okay. Yeah. Like, and and legendary bounce back would be fine. Like that would supplement the fact that he doesn't have stems any longer. Mm-hmm. So that would if you drop the armor, that legendary bounce yep. back would kind of mitigate that as well. You yeah. get the drop, get the reveal, get the bounce back. Yeah, his get legendary back bounce back. You revive so fast. Yeah, exactly. So for glitch, replace rare evade with rare energized. Replace epic stalker with epic tenacity and replace legendary tracker rounds with legendary shredder rounds. But that energized. Well, <sighs> he, I don't think glitch can get his hack ability back in demo. Can he? I think it's a one yeah. and done in demo, right? He, no, he can. No, 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 he recharges. It. it recharges. The cooldown is ridiculous. Time. It does take yeah. a long yeah. time. Yeah. It's they a very long Just change that. You would literally have to hack as you hit the ground to be able to hack again before the round was over. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That might be why we do have a lot of glitches that hack as soon as we... Oh, on that first push? Yeah. But I like like glitch with the tracker rounds. Maybe he doesn't need them at legendary, but it makes sense for him... Give them to him. To me, it feels... I like like the tracker rounds. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, it feels like the offset of shredder rounds is like the Simtex because you can peel their armor yeah. away with a Simtex yep. and then push in on them. But maybe, maybe I'm just not going against enough people with armor all the time. But I don't buy shredder rounds that often unless I happen nah. to be facing someone with like, like, yep. like an anvil or a trench. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Anvil specifically right. because he has the fucking maw. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And while we're on glitch, I just I, I want to mention this every time we ever mention glitch. We need to go back to his old fucking alt, dude. The way the that he had the little a- the little area around dude. him, and you can kind of I love that because a full I I I honestly think the full map hack is kind of ridiculous. Say if glitch is with you know me on B and y'all are on fucking A, and the fucking uh. Fighters going toward y'all. Is it really fair that he can hack them from across the map? No, right. I don't think so. Dude, no. Even the way you should that, have to have someone with an EMP or run the fuck away. You could walk around with it open and see who was in front of you. Yeah, and what was that? The I thing think that added a lot have, to his though. playability. Yeah, 
What was that thing you, know, you could have? Uh, the heartbeat sensor. Dude, That's kind of what he was doing. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Why did they take that away? Because what is he, a breacher? Yeah, but whenever they removed Intel, they moved him out of the Intel class. Well, put him back. And people were using padded steps with the pad, pad stepping, yeah. and, and, and flanking with that. And it's like, but... Because so it's just t- padded steps or fuck that. Take padded steps away and give him there something go, else. Done. I don't think he needs them that much. No. I, th- I think the idea. Crouch? Is it because he has a shotgun? Well, I think the idea is like that's what Glimpse is supposed to do. And if he has the pad out, even though he can't shoot or do anything when he's got it out. So they then- fucked on his ability because of her. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's kind of weird. You right? hear her coming. Yeah, we right. need to do something about her though too, because even with hearing her coming, it's n- it's not always in the right oh, place. Sounds it up, sounds man. like she's in front of you, but homegirl comes behind you and she'll whops you with a sledgehammer. You. Yeah, that's getting ridiculous. I'm seeing more than one yeah, glimpse doing that. They'll glimpse out and get behind you. Yeah, you know, walk right and past sledgehammer you. Sledgehammer or no claymore sound. you. No sound. Yeah, and then just and just beat you down. It's like where'd this bitch come from? Yeah. She was in front of me. What happened? Speaking of glimpse, I accidentally, I accidentally hit Griffin with an RPG earlier because uh, I it when she came, you know, it makes that sound when she comes yeah. out of the all. It sounded like she was right on him, so I just shot it. Oh yeah, right over there. no, she was on the whole other side of the wall. Yeah. Remember when they first released her, and you could actually tell where she was? Uh, yeah, she. You could hear yeah. her going right next to you. Yeah. Watch it. You could hear it move. 3D audio. Just yeah, left to right. But no, that's too powerful. Is, is it? it? Yeah, right. I thought this game was proud of its audio. Yeah. Well, not the Glimpse audio. Oh. <laughs> My bad. So for Glimpse, uh, the suggestions here is replace Rare Hunter with Rare Gadgeteer. Replace Tracker Rounds with rare nimble hands and replace a legendary restock with legendary spotter. I'm kind of okay with that. I like every one of those changes. Yes. Oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Shut her down. Um, for juke, replace epic shredder rounds to epic energized and replace legendary energized with legendary volatile. I don't think that's a good yes. idea. You don't think so? Dude, if you throw two of those drones, they're doing six damage per tick. With Legendary Volatile, they'll be doing 10 damage per tick per drone. So they yeah. would be doing 20 damage every, like, 0. 0.2 seconds. They would be able to down you the... You gotta get them out. Give her, <laughs> give her rare Volatile. Yeah, I mean... 5,000. Just enough to give, like, an extra... Point per tick because oh, if you get you know. hit three or four times, it's going to add up. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think putting it at legendary is a little too. I think that she should have it. Don't get me wrong, but like, I don't think and, legendary is the right spot. And get rid of blaster. Yeah, I mean, and they need. What, what is that for? Uh, it, like, if I buy that at 10,000, then my impact grenade should down someone now. Yeah, exactly. Right. Should've. But it like tickles. Does them. it? No, it does like 70 (laughs) damage. Yeah, it tickles the shit out of them. It ain't enough. 10,000. Yeah. And if you throw throw it on a corner to try to push someone, if they've got legendary bounce back, they've already healed. Yeah. It's kind of dumb. And, I mean, they need to replace the reflector completely, in my opinion. Get that shit out of here. Yeah. Or, Or lessen the push on it or something. Well, don't allow it to push through walls. That's I've tried to use stupid. it to knock back utility, and it doesn't work. I've had it work a couple of times, but not a lot. That's what they need to work on. Make sure it's not pushing people back, but it's pushing all you. Like if a switchblade or Dima shoots their shit, it pushes it right back to them. That yeah. would be nice. That's what it should be for. Yeah. That 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 would give you it's an counter. advantage where you're pushing down a lane. And they're about to shut that lane off. And you're like, yep. uh-uh. No. What the? Our what the? Gone. Well, yeah, right. And w- what I feel like they need to do with the reflector as a whole is like remove the ability to knock people around with it, but ha- like and when- off the map. Yes, like completely remove that mm-hmm. functionality. But whenever you shoot it out, it should linger in a like a circular motion 
for like a second or two. Like that a way, tornado. Yeah, that way if you see the switchblade with the RPG out, you can shoot it and you don't have to time it because you're getting shot. You got a spider running around. You got all this other yeah. stuff. Like have it exist there for a second or two. That way you can shoot it out. And if they don't notice that happening and it hits it, it either it deflects it off the map or it does something different with it. They need to completely rework that gadget. Something. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. So, um, for Kestrel, replace rare evade with rare gunsmith and replace epic padded steps with epic evade. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. She does not need to have padded steps. No, you have me at padded steps. Yeah. She um, can sneak up behind the entire team. And blast them with her. bird shit them, dude. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Yeah. How many times that happened? Too many to count. Too many. How many times have you been mad about that shit? Not to mention she has the knight. Yeah. And the riptide. That alone. Yeah. 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 Two of the best weapons in the game right now. Yeah. So for runway, uh, smoke grenade replaced with an adrenaline shot. We talked about that a little bit earlier. It's like... I would rather him see him replace it with the tear gas or the uh, EMP, personally. I think the EMP is the best, because yeah. we need more people with that. Yeah. Uh, Saint just says epic track arounds to epic, but I think they, I think Kang forgot to put what it was changing to. But, um, Let's take a guess. Okay, so remove epic. Let me look at Saint's kit real quick. Hold on. And, and I'll read it out to you. Let's see. Characters, Rogue, Saint. Saint. Okay, so his kit right now is Rare Gadgeteer, Rare Bounce Back, Rare Lifeline, um, Epic Track Arounds, Epic Nimble Hands, Epic Armor, Legendary Helping Hand, Re- Legendary Energized. Um, hmm. I think move Gadgeteer up to Legendary. For the healing station, or move it to to the epic, and then for the rare perk, drop in like um, berserker, so that he can run and reload at the same time. I mean, because if you throw the smoke grenade down with Saint, you can run up and heal someone. If you have gadgeteer, that allows you to do that more yeah. often. Um, and then and that roll that runaway reload that's huge. Yeah, yeah. So would it hurt I, to throw in crack shot in place of one of those? I don't think it would hurt. No, I don't know. How I much, mean, he's more of a long range character than Mark Four and the Mamba. Yeah, right. I think change Nimble Hands to Quick Hands so that he gets all of the healing perks kind of rolled into one, and then move mm-hmm. Gadget Gadgeteer up, and then give him yeah crack shot, like rare crack shot six thousand. Or I mean, that Mamba's kind of sick right now. Yeah. Or, or what if they gave him volatile, but it applies to the healing station that does more healing oh. over time? That would be that might be broken. Uh, yeah, so this is a big W. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've already seen that healing station come in clutch for a few people. Yeah. So, um, so for Seeker, increase the cooldown of his uh, ability from thirty to forty-five seconds. I think so. I agree with that. I think yeah, I, don't that. I think Seeker and Sigrid both need to have their abilities increased by at least fifteen seconds, if not thirty seconds. Seagrid really bad. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why we need more characters than the MP. Yeah. Well, even even with him, it's like he can mark the whole team. Yeah, everybody. It's not just one reveal. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's everybody. Uh, the perks and Dallas's don't recharge unless you down some. No, nah. exactly right. Uh, for the perks on Seeker, replace Rare Berserker with Rare Bounce Back. Replace Epic Nimble Hands with Quick Hands. Replace Epic Lifeline with Epic Evade, and replace Legendary Crack Shot with Legendary Lifeline. That sounds pretty great. It don't sound bad. No, because the Evade triggers you can run up and heal someone with Lifeline really quickly. I mean. We need more healers. That that would not be a bad idea at all. We need more lifeline. Yeah. 
uh, fixer. They need to spread that perk around, dude. I know. Even if it's a low level, whatever. I mean, we only have two. Yeah. Let's see. Fixer is another one here. So let me pull the pull fixer up here. So fixer said replace legendary energized to legendary. So let's look and see what he's got. He's got uh but rare berserker rare nimble hands rare armor epic gadgeteer epic gunsmith epic padded steps rare or legendary energized and legendary stalker um yeah i mean slot out legendary energized and you could give him because he had crack shot at one time and crack shot plus mm. fixer alt breaks weapons so you can't do that um, hmm. Let's look at the perks here. Give him bulletproof. Oh, does he have armor? He does, right? Yeah, he's he got 25 armor. armor. Yeah, or evade. I would say evade. Yeah, look, get up and get away. What about nimble hands? They that move fucking reload while move, running. Yeah. They move legendary uh, nimble hands up to legendary and then they like slot bounce back or something into to rare. I think they need to get pat get rid of padded steps for him as well. I don't think it's a good perk for fixer. I to think have. it should just go. Yeah, completely, right? Well, like one of mm -hmm. Lancer's things is when she's walking. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah. You can let people do that too, you know? Yeah, right. Here you go. Maybe track arounds on Fixer wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, I you know. You can mark you through the smoke for the rest of the team. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. There you go. I like yeah. that. That's a good idea. A lot idea. of times you have a fixer your team, they'll smoke it off. It's like, I can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm right. just going to shoot in that direction. How yeah. many times you done that? Like, okay. Yeah. There's two. Where? Yeah, don't know. In the smoke. Yeah. Mark them. That would be a great idea. That would be good. Yeah. Even if they dropped it in at a rare, it doesn't sure. matter. Like, Because if you get one shot on somebody and the enemy oh, team can see that, it's I'm over. I'm aiming at it, yep. Yeah, so. Uh, for Trench, replace rare gadgeteer with rare shredder rounds. And I agree with this too, especially since he's broken at the moment. So if you purchase a gadget on round one, you don't get two. You get one and a half because it's, the other one's on cooldown. What? Yeah, exactly. It's stupid. Um, but I think Trent should have shred rounds. I mean, he's, and I even said something about that the other night. Whenever we were playing, I was like, why doesn't Trench have shred rounds? He's got legendary armor. You would think that he would have access to some level of shred rounds to stop a push. Like he's a defender. He's tanky, dude. Yeah. So give him something. Uh, and then for Umbra, replace epic replenish with epic evade and replace legendary crack shot with legendary restock. I think getting rid of crack shot would be fine for Umbra, but I don't think giving him restock is the right move on that. Or evade. They could give him legendary evade. Let's see. Let's look at Umbra. Why is it going to be legendary? It does. I mean, technically it don't. Let's see what he's got, and we could bump something else So Let's we'll see. Umbra. Okay, he's got a rare stalker, hunter, and blaster. He's got epic replenish, padded, and life drain. He's got legendary gunsmith and crack shot. So here is my thing. Get rid of crack shot and, and padded steps, right? Give him quick hands or a, a reload perk here. Slot it in somewhere. But like, I think putting stalker in that legendary position. Uh-huh. I mean, why not? I like the perk. They could get rid of replenish and padded steps on him. They could give him epic. Uh, he don't need padded. No. Uh -huh. They they could give him quick hands in in place of replenish. That way he doesn't have that. They get rid of padded steps. They could give him like they could up his blaster or sure. You know whatever. Just get yeah. rid of padded. Yeah. And like hunter is a useless perk. Yeah. Let's. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why it's still a thing. You know, 
So we could get rid of, we could actually get rid of a couple of perks looking yeah. at it. Like, just combine them. Yeah. I mean, they could give him Spotter. Well, why can't like Hunter and Spotter just be the same? Well, Sp- Spotter has Hunter built into it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I mean, what are we doing? I don't know. Doing some weirdness. What are we yeah. doing? Weird shit. Yeah. Why do yeah. we have perks that do the same things? Yeah. Why do we have eight reload perks? Mm, that makes no we? sense. We've got... I mean, okay, these are all the things that contribute to your ammo. Do we? Berserker. Uh-huh. Gunsmith. Uh-huh. Nimble hands. Quick hands. Replenish. Restock. Tread rounds. And spotter. No, not spotter. So there's seven. Replenish. You already said that? Yeah, replenish, yeah. Yeah. Restock. So nimble. There was two hands there. They should just be the same. Nimble hands and quick hands, yeah. So I quick. Mean, what are you doing? Quick hands is nimble hands and berserker rolled into one perk. Okay, okay. well, get rid of those two perks and yep. give different levels to quick hands. Yep. It's not hard. Done. Restock. Next. Restock is replenish and gadgeteer rolled into one. Okay, uh-huh. get, get rid of replenish, get rid of restock completely, in my opinion. Like, I think the Talon Legendary Nimble Hands is proof enough that you, you don't need a perk that reloads your weapon when you down someone. I don't like, I don't think that it's needed. There's a button for that. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, the, I'm interested to see um, Kang finish his list up here because I think that there's some really, really good stuff. There's some stuff that's like, this might be a little bit broken. But um, all in all, I think it's a pretty solid list, though. And I'm interested to see it, it completed and finished out. You know what I mean? But that's all I had. You guys got anything? Nah. Do it. Do it. All right, guys. So this has been episode number 52. Mm -hmm. This has been episode number 52 of the unofficial, official, unofficial Rogue (laughs) Company podcast. If you want to contribute in any way, you can hit us up on Twitter at Brocast. You can shoot us an email, Brocast at gmail.com, or you can join the Discord. The server will be in the link the server will be in the description down below. Mm. But for this episode, I'm here with Co Reed. I'm here with Dirt Lord. I'm here with. Hello? Did my internet just drop out? Oh, God. But my internet just dropped out. So we're here with Co Reed, Dirt Lord, and Garbo. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you guys so much for watching. And be sure to be on the lookout for the next episode. Have a good one, guys.